an opportunity to build back stronger. That's what many leaders across Southwest Florida are discussing, but how are they working to make sure everyone has that chance and that everyone can afford it? That's next. Live from Southwest Florida, you're watching Fox 4 News at 5. And we are focused on building back but stronger, and many leaders in our area say they're looking at how to help our community better prepare for major storms. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Shari Armstrong. And I'm Nadine Giannis. But in places like Fort Myers Beach, island leaders are telling Fox 4's Colton Chavez it's a plan that doesn't come cheap. So Colton is now joining us live from Fort Myers Beach tonight. And Colton, it is the affordability question that many leaders you spoke with are going back to the drawing board with tonight. Yeah, Nadine, they're going back to that drawing board trying to answer this question. When we see big plots of land like this one just completely flattened by Hurricane Ian, council members down here like Bill Veach, they say it actually creates an opportunity to take these areas and build back stronger than before. But the question that remains is how do we make it affordable for the people who are trying to build back in these areas? Now, I spoke to Bill Veach earlier this week at a Southwest Florida Climate Summit where he, along with many other regional, national, and state leaders, they're trying to answer this question. Now, Veach says current building codes, which he says have actually been proven to better withstand hurricanes, come with a more expensive price tag that even he is having to face right now for his own home down here on Fort Myers Beach. Now, that's why Veach says local leaders, they need to create incentives that will encourage developers to create things like affordable housing options for people who call places is like Fort Myers Beach home. There's an opportunity to incentivize those people to build more mixed use with some workforce housing, maybe some other housing, um, in exchange for some things like uh, setback, density um, allowances, that kind of thing. V says they are also exploring the idea of creating expedited permits for developers who want to create more affordable housing options. Now, while at the same time, Coming up on Fox 4 News at 6 o'clock, how communities like right here in Fort Myers Beach are looking up north to Charlotte County at communities that were more resilient during Hurricane Ian. In the next half hour, I'll break down how they're taking ideas from up north to maybe fix the problems down south. But for now, live in Fort Myers Beach, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.